Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Gosh, I just wish we could get some more rain on Sunday afternoons and evenings here in Columbus, Georgia. Well, it is a great day today on this beautiful Monday, and I welcome you to this dose of Danny's Downtown Daily Devotional Delight. Yeehaw! So I'll start with a joke today. When is a door not a door? It's an oldie but a goodie. You know it. You know it. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. Ha 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 ha! A jar. Get it? Get it? Hi, friends. Adorable. <laughs> Adorable. So yesterday in worship, we talked about John 20, verses 19 through 31. And so we had Easter the week before, John 20, verses 1 through 18. And then this was Easter evening. And the thing that struck me about 19 through 31 was the fact that they twice were locked behind closed doors in fear of their lives. And in both of those occasions, Jesus came to them and gave them His peace. And as we too are just like those disciples, we are seeking Christ's peace in the middle of this chaotic environment. But just like those first disciples, we too are locked behind our closed doors in our homes, living in fear, just like they were. They were in fear for their lives because of the Jewish and Roman authorities that now that Jesus had been crucified and dead, now they were next on the list of those that were threatening Jewish and Roman leadership. So they were literally afraid for their lives. And in the same way, we too are gathered behind our locked doors in fear, and in many cases for fear of our lives. And in many cases, it's fear of unknown, fear of jobs, fear of health, fear of how to continue to live this different life that we've been called to. And even though it is a beautiful and bright day outside, and we always need to be reminded that this is God's creation and that every day God creates a new world for us, that we too can be locked behind those doors living in fear. But the great thing about this passage is that Jesus comes to them behind their locked doors. He shows them His scars to prove that this risen Christ is the same as the crucified Christ. And then He gives them His peace, His resurrection joy. And that word peace, that shalom, is bigger than just the word peace, meaning absence of tension or tranquility, but rather a wholeness, a completeness, a healing, a love, a joy, a holistic togetherness that can only come through Christ. So today, friends, I want you to know that Christ comes to us behind and through our locked doors in our homes, engages our fear when He brings us His resurrection peace. So live in joy and hope of the resurrected Christ this and every day. And may God's love, blessing, and peace be on you this and every day. I love you, friends. I miss you, and I hope to see you soon. Amen.